Are you guys here today for the review of the LG CM4550 shelf system? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Justin with The Digital Life and I'm going to present to you guys the shelf system, how good the sound is, and a couple other features so you can decide whether it's for you or not. It's $200 at Best Buy, so here's a video to tell you if you should buy it or not. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I am trying to support my work today, so if you guys could support me, that'd be great. Like uh, like my video or give me a comment in the description and tell me how I'm doing. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Welcome back to The Digital Life here with Justin. Thank you for the support today. Um, so today we have the review of the LG CM4450 for the 100th time as you've heard. Um, I just wanted you guys, to, uh, just in case you needed to write it down or look it up real quick. Um, but anyways, today I just wanted to give you guys a thorough review um, to help you guys not only make the right decision on what speaker system you buy, but to determine if the LG CM4550 is the best one for you and also a quick tutorial on if you guys just bought it, how to use it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned if you guys have any questions. Um, just please uh, put them in the comments. Uh, please like this video if you do like it, don't like it if you don't, or hit the down button if you think I'm doing a terrible job. I do appreciate any kind of uh, input I could get from you guys just because I am trying my best here to, to give you guys some great reviews for you guys. Just because before you go out and buy a $200 product, I feel like I would appreciate knowing if it's a good product. I went out and bought it, so I'm here to tell you guys what it's about, how good it is, and what's it for. Um, and if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out here. I'm trying to do a video every couple days, every other day. Um, I am in school, and I do have a job, so it's hard for me to do them like every single day. Other than that, guys, I'm trying my best here to make them happen for you guys. Yeah, just like give me a comment, and then and uh, let me know how I'm doing. Otherwise, let's get on with the review. Uh, it's going to have four, uh, four total units. Um, one is going to be the interface, as I like to call it. You can call it whatever you want, but it's basically meaning is that. And then, so you're going to have the ability to change the function right here. Um, that's pretty cool. And then also right here is going to have a, it's going to come up and tell you, it gives you a greeting, and then it tells you what the volume is. Then it tells you the, um, what you're using the phone with. So Bluetooth ready, you could, you could uh, pair the device. Then you get LG TV if you want to connect it. You get the radio. You could plug in a CD, USBs auxiliary and then portable which is pretty cool um, that basically just means if you want to connect another device to it which is also super neat um, but yeah there we go guys that's the kind of audio interface behind this part um, and then over here we have a stop button and then a rewind and then a auto DJ which basically means it plays songs that are um, similar to uh, auto DJ actually means that it actually there's a fade in between the songs so that there's no stopping so that's pretty cool um, and then down we just have down there we just have some basic uh, advertising and stuff and then each of these speakers are gonna have their own little subwoofer with the tweeters at the bottom and then each of them just kind of look like that sound quality test um, I'm actually gonna have you guys hear it just so you can before you go buy it you know exactly what you're listening to um, and then I'm gonna tell you guys whether or not I think you should buy it um, I can already tell you that this speaker is not an audiophile speaker by any means it's gonna be a speaker meant for people who are trying to get a speaker to entertain people um, and really just have like a get together. Um, the sound quality I would probably say is gonna be, I like to do everything on a scale of one to 10 just because when I say pretty good or good to you, you might be like, well, what does that actually mean? Um, and before you buy it, you might wanna know if it's actually a seven or an eight or a nine or a 10 speaker quality. Um, so I do like to, if you guys don't like the numbers, let me know, but I do like to put everything in numbers perspective because it helps me to think about how, um, helps me to demonstrate my thinking of it. Um, so I can relay that to you guys before you buy it so you can understand what I'm talking about. Um, so overall, um, I would probably say the speaker is going to be a solid, um, I would say for general uses, I would say it's going to be a solid um, 7, 7.5. Um, there's a few different reasons for that. Uh, but I would say for an audiophile, I would not recommend the speaker. So if you're an audiophile looking for a shelf system that's going to be extremely good sound quality, everything's crystal clear that it is not for audiophiles. So this is not gonna be for audiophiles unless you already have a great pair of speakers and this is just a backup for your living room. You wanna put some music on for the boys or for the girls or for anybody who wants to just hang out and relax with you, it is definitely a great speaker for that. Sound quality goes, it is gonna be probably, I would say for general purposes, someone who's looking, someone, just the average person, I would probably say it's a seven, seven and a half, like I said. Um, so that means that, so unfortunately when you really pump the thing up and put it at high volume, the bass gets a little bit, 
Um, it doesn't get distorted, but the actual speakers make a little bit of a, like a um, distorted noise. It's almost like they go like, um, you know, it's almost like they're kind of, you know, rattling the ground that is. So maybe not a distorted noise, but they are rattling the ground, which is definitely something kind of cool, but I'm not sure if you're into that. Um, each one has a subwoofer and tweeter, like I said before. So when you're looking at the speaker, listening to it, um, you're going to notice that the, the clarity I would say the clarity in the vocals is my favorite part. Um, the bass is is pretty pretty average. I would say it's going to be a little bit muddy. Um, it kind of just sounds like it's there. It does rumble the room, um, but you really can't tell. Like it's not a confirmed bass. It doesn't really. It's not really like it's just like a noise. It doesn't really have any. There's not a lot of depth in my opinion. Um, the mids are I would say decent to pretty good. So on my scale one to ten, I'd probably say a six. Um, the reason for that is when you play like any kind of rock music, it gets a little muddy. Um, but I will show you guys a sound test. But anyways, guys, um, continuing on, the speaker is going to have the interface, which I'll show you guys. Um, you'll see it. It'll. Uh, I'll show you guys that in just a second. Um, and then overall, the speaker is going to have a functionality where you can actually have auto DJ, which is my favorite part about the whole thing, um, which basically means that when you hit auto DJ, the songs have no... There's no um, delay in the next song. So you're playing a song, song A, song B, and the song B will actually kind of fade into song A. <laughs> Excuse me, a little bit. So basically what that means is that if you're playing song A and song B, there's zero time for it to go lapse. So the beginning of song B will fade into the beginning of song A, or the opposite. Um, you guys might be able to correct me on that. Um, Auto DJ is going to have that. Uh, but the speakers are going to have Bluetooth on them. They have USB capability. The Bluetooth range, in my opinion, is pretty, is uh, very good. Um, I mean, it's just the same as any kind of Bluetooth device you're going to get on the market today. So it's going to have 30 foot range ish. Um, and then one of my favorite parts about the speaker, and I don't know if this is um, just because of me, but you can actually turn the speaker out on without actually having to turn it on. So if you're in range and within this, and have the speaker already paired. Um, and when I say paired, I actually mean not literally the speaker's on and it's paired. I mean it's already been paired in your system, so it's it's known, it's recognizable. You can actually hit the button and then your speaker will turn on. So if you just walk into the house, hit the button on your Bluetooth. So you have the Bluetooth menu and then you hit the on button. It actually just turns on. So I actually really like that feature. The reason why is because if you ever want to put your shelf system somewhere where it's like not totally easy to get, um, you can just turn up the uh, volume all the way on it so that it always comes on pretty pretty much fully boomed out. Um, pretty volumed up, whatever you want to call it, pretty loud. Um, so you can just walk into your room and turn it on. So that's pretty cool. Um, so anyways, guys, just to get down to the nitty gritty that you guys want to hear. So the, the speaker's $200. And in my opinion, for a $200 speaker, you should probably get something that is going to sound pretty good, look pretty good, um, and is going to last for a good amount of time. Um, for a shelf system, that is, I mean, even if you're spending 100 bucks, I think it should um, have all those meanings. Now, I will tell you this. It some of those it does not meet. So for LG, I would say it's a 700 watt sh shelf system, which means for the wattage, it's a very powerful system. Um, so when you're listening to the, the the shelf system, you'll notice that the sound quality is you know a seven seven and a half, like I said, but it does get really loud. So for people out there who are watching this, who are really really interested in entertaining people, having people over, really getting the music really loud, this is the speaker for you. Um, it's audiophiles may want to do that as well, but this is more for someone who's just an average consumer looking up to pick pick up a pair of uh, speakers. I would also say that these are kind of in the same realm as a Beats product. Uh, the reason why is there's pretty good bass. I'm gonna have a sound test for you guys today. I'm actually gonna go put on some tunes on the actual device for you guys, so you know exactly what you're gonna hear. I'm gonna pump it up and have it at low, so you can hear it how good it sounds when it's low volume, how good it sounds when it's high volume, um, and is there any distortion? This is a shelf system, so it's meant to be um, you know on a shelf the whole time um, but otherwise thanks for watching today's video I really appreciate your support please let me know if you have any input for me because um, I really would appreciate it I am new at this and this is um, I'm trying to make this uh, my full-time deal because I like doing this. So please rate, uh, comment, subscribe for me. My name is Justin, The Digital Life. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.